What's up everyone, welcome to another episode of Spitting Venom, aka the Venom Vlog, and today I just have a quick episode for you, it's some comic book news, a new comic book coming out starring Carnage, so hopefully I you know, put that Carnage intro in there, I think I will, um, I like that song a lot too, uh, <laughs> The Red Right Hand by Nick Cave, although that's like a different version of it. Um, but uh, you know, there, there's some new Carnage news that came out, uh, Donny Cates has announced that the Web of Venom like one shot that he's doing where Venom's in Vietnam, and that's like coming up soon. He's doing another one shot called Web of Venom Carnage Born. And uh, he's going to be doing this with, I think the artist's name is uh, Danilo uh, Bayruth, um, or it could be Danilo Bayruth. I know there's not the two L's there, but, uh, you know, hopefully I'm not butchering your name. I'm new to this artist, so I'm going to definitely do some research and see kind of what stuff they've drawn lately. Um, but uh, I, I can't wait to see what their style looks like because Carnage is such a specific villain and monster that a lot of people like him drawn a certain way or, you know, or look a certain way. And what I like about that in saying that is that Kyle Hotz, who drew this mini series or this one shot, these two one shots uh, that we talked about here on the show when we did Carnage Week, there was Mind Bomb and then there was another one that uh, David Quinn um, wrote. And, uh, and the Mind Bomb one, though, I think was, uh, was written by Warren Ellis. And that was a one-shot Carnage story with him in Ravencroft. And, you know, John Jameson was there and uh, and Dr. Ashley Kafka was there. And Kyle Hotz drew the living crap out of that book. He made it really creepy, really scary. And then he also did the, the next book with David Quinn. He made that one really creepy and really scary. So they're bringing him back to do the covers of this one-shot for Carnage Born. And you can see that image up here. And it looks amazing. And so, uh, you know, Donnie Cates even said, he's like, when I was a kid, uh, you know, my mom dropped me off at the YMCA and sometimes I would sneak over to the comic book store. Uh, he and I had pretty similar childhoods, it seems. <laughs> and, uh, and so, uh, cause I've definitely done stuff like that for sure. And he talked about going into a comic shop and buying Carnage Mind Bomb and how traumatizing it kind of was for him because it is a very visually interesting book. It's, you know, it's really out there, really weird. It gets really abstract at times. And uh, like I said, you know, we talked about this on the show before. I'll try to put links down below to those episodes. Uh, but uh, he talks about reading that and how awesome he thought it was and how great it was and how much it means to him to have Kyle Hotz come back and do the cover of his Carnage one shot, uh, which is pretty cool. So, I, you know, I... I can feel that as a fan and I know Donnie Cates is a big fan so it's like you know and this is although sometimes in interviews he says things and I'm like uh, okay dude you know I don't know if you have to say that or whatever but um but the proof is in his work and then how excited he gets that he is clearly a big fan so um having Kyle Hotz here is pretty neat uh doing the covers but they have the the synopsis for it too so I'll read that off real quick and I'll put a link down below to the article I'm reading from comic book resources so you can see some of the other quotes and other things that Donny Cates has said about the book uh, but the main thing is his we have the solicit here and it says uh, join Donny Cates as he continues to snake his tendrils through the venom mythos this time visiting the sickening sociopath called Carnage and if you remember uh, you know Carnage died at the end of uh, Venomized and he was just kind of left off into space he was like kind of floating out there into space and uh, so we're, you know, although that was like the second time that's happened, he's died before in the comics being left out into space by Brian Michael Bendis. He had, you know, century rip him in half and throw him in space. But then he came back during those great Carnage, you know, storylines, which was like Family Feud in Carnage USA. So this is his, kind of his second return from outer space, it looks like. But with a, with a twist kind of in a way, too. Uh, it says, a cruel cannibal obsessed with death and murder. Few people mourned Cletus Cassidy after he seemingly died and venomized. But now a cult devoted to the madman has gathered, hoping to resurrect their fallen idol and return his madness to the Marvel Universe. So it looks like we're going to get some crazy cult out there that worships the work, the serial killer work that Cletus Cassidy has done and maybe even that Carnage has done. And they're just like these really weird sicko cult people who think he's maybe some kind of like, you know, evil messiah or something. And they're going to try to bring him back or resurrect him in a way. So this will be really neat. I'm wondering how far they'll go knowing Donny Cates and how big he likes to make things. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if Mephisto or something like that shows up in the story. And I know a lot of people are like, oh, Mephisto, because they think of Spider-Man One More Day. But Mephisto is actually a great character and has played great roles in a lot of storylines. And I know Donny Cates wrote him in his Doctor Strange book uh, recently with that big crossover he did called Damnation. So it wouldn't surprise me if somehow Mephisto is involved or something else from the mythos of, you know, like uh, Doctor Strange or Ghost Rider, you know, because Donny Cates right now, he's writing all of his Venom stuff. He's tying a lot of Thor mythology. He's tying some Thor mythology into it, and he's making Venom and the symbiote feel very rooted 
in the history of the Marvel Universe, which, you know, I kind of rail against a little bit, but I'm, I'm trying to be optimistic enough to see where it goes. So I'll definitely hold my judgment until the at least the first arc is over and kind of base, you know, some off that. But it, it's clear that Donny Cates does have a big plan for Venom, big plan for the symbiotes, and he is trying to go to new territories and go to new avenues with some of them. Uh, so that's interesting to me. Uh, and I think new is a, is ultimately a good thing, but it depends on what kind of new. Uh, so I, I'm, again, going to hold judgment on it. But this still sounds interesting, and I'm glad we're getting Carnage back, and hopefully as Carnage, and not like some poison hybrid thing and uh, and all that. And I, I don't even care if like Cletus Cassidy regrows his legs or anything, if he still you know has no legs uh, and the suit makes the legs for him. I mean, that was still neat. I like that in Carnage USA and Carnage Family Feud. So that's not you know a big thing. But if Mephisto is bringing him back from the dead, I'm sure it's going to bring him back whole anyway. So it'll be interesting to see not only this story, but what stories come out of this uh, for Carnage and for the character of Carnage. And I know a lot of you guys out there are fans of Carnage, so let me know what you think of this story. Uh, are you excited for it? Are you excited for this one shot? I will definitely buy it and review it when it comes out, so don't worry about that. Uh, but I want to hear your thoughts. Uh, my thoughts are that it sounds promising. I'm very interested. But like with anything with Donny Cates now, I was super excited when he jumped on Venom um, leading up to it. But then once we got to like issues two and three and four, uh, like I'm starting to pull back and get a little reserved. So I don't jump for joy every time something's announced by him when it comes to Venom, but I am still optimistic. I'm still trying to keep that optimism, uh, but he is starting to, I'm starting to recede and pull back a little bit. But again, I'll kind of get a better judge of his story and where it's going hopefully by the end of this first arc in his venom book but either way at least this one i'm probably more excited for this one than venom in vietnam that one doesn't sound too appealing to me uh but uh, i'll definitely read it because i'm hoping nick fury shows up in it but for this one i mean it's carnage and it's a cover by kyle hotz i mean that alone makes me want to buy it so that's my opinion let me know what yours is down below thanks for watching my show as always like share subscribe all that fun stuff and i'll have more toy reviews uh, speaking of carnage we'll do the toy review for carnage coming up soon and the poison uh, figure as well and scream and all the others uh, i will get to them i just had a busy work schedule this week so I'm, I'm sorry i'm behind on videos i just started off the week rough and then it just got worse as far as work goes as far as like my availability because when i work mid shifts i don't have any time before work to make a video and usually i film them before work and then edit them after work and post them like late at night that's usually my schedule and now I can't do that because my schedule's been all over the place. So I'm trying to catch up to you guys. So be patient with me. And until then, I'll at least post some video game playthroughs. Uh, so that way, you know, I just have to get through that stuff anyway and finish that stuff. Uh, so I know a lot of you don't watch them, which is totally cool. But for those of you who do, I'll try to get at least that up. And for the rest of you, you can wait for the next Venom episode. I'll try to get it up on Thursday, which is tomorrow is my next day off. And I'll try to get you another episode then. Thanks so much again. Have a good one, guys. Peace.